Hello again and thanks for watching this week's vlog. Uh, right, a lot of people have been very confused with what's been going on um, on our journey this year. So I'll try and explain. Anthony works part-time, I work part-time, and we've tried to stay within the North West. We realised that if we got on the Clangolan Canal, or the Langcock, I can't say it, the Golly Canal. Oh, please, I need Anthony here right now. Uh, he's in work. Hello, there's a couple of viewers of ours called Paul and Anthony off a boat called... Morning Star, something, something like that. Anyway, they had a... I had two requests. The first one was, can we please show another clip of us emptying our toilet cassette? Because they and love that, didn't they? They, they love that, yeah. it's a favourite thing. And um, can we pronounce the name of the canal we're travelling on? Yes. Langolan. 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 La Langolan. La Langolan. 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 Yeah, that's it. Langolan. Langolan. Clangoflin. Flangoflin. Clang. Flangoflin. The golly. I always say. No, I don't say Langolin. Say Flangoflin. Flangoflin. There you go. Flangoflin. I can't say it. Flangoflin. Right, Lily, can you say Flangoflin? Langoflin. Noah, can you say Flangoflin? Flangoflin. That's close enough. If we went onto that canal, it would be too much for Anthony to travel to work every day. You'd be talking an hour and a half to work and an hour and a half back from work. And with the cost of fuel and everything else, it just would have been exhausting. And we knew that he had 12 days off in October. Uh, that had been booked for a while. And our plan was to go onto the canal then. And if you watch next week's video, that's when that journey starts. So we sort of caught up. Uh, we caught up on ourselves with the vlogs and we're not too far behind. Before I carry on, thanks for watching, thanks for all your lovely comments from last week and a big thank you to all of our channel members and all those people who have bought us a coffee and I'd like to say a big thank you to our new two new patrons who are Jennifer Trimper and Kathy Lowe. Thank you so much you guys, thank you. Oh, let me turn this off. <laughs> Right, I'm going to try and explain a little more about where we've been over the September, October months waiting to get onto the golly and uh, I will try and explain it by using this, our trusty Nicholson guide. Just before the vloggers summer picnic we were down on the River Weaver and we managed to get back up on the lift just before it closed. Then after spending some time at Anderton we went up to Middlewich and towards Venetian Marina and then we went all the way from Bunbury and into Chester. After a day in Chester, we came all the way back through Bunbury and hung around this area, around, where are we here, Barbridge Inn. From Barbridge Inn, we went to Nantwich, from Nantwich back to Barbridge, and then we've been basically travelling up and down this canal, so back through Middlewich, up towards Church Minchel as well, and then back to Anderton Lift, and we've done this journey a few times um, before finally going back to Bunbury and Beeston, coming back this way and hanging around until uh, the half term holidays at the end of October and if you watch next week's video this is when we turn through Hurliston Locks and all the way up through Marbury and I think we get as far as uh, Whitchurch on next week's video and then the week after that should be us going from Whitchurch to Ellesmere and Ellesmere all the way to Langocklan Basin which we absolutely loved. I hope that makes sense. What are you doing, Anthony? Me? I'm dressed up, ready to go out for a move. Ah, nice. The sunset looks amazing. We're not going to be here to film it with the drone, are we? You waited to go, Dexter. Come on then. Come in. Chance. 
And that, that you can see through the trees, is the River Weaver. It's easy for me to say. Now, once you through the budge, you cut through this field. Oh, we love this little walk. It's only about 10, 12 minutes, isn't it? Yeah. These houses are lovely, aren't they? Yeah. They're excluded. No, Dexter likes to walk as well. Ooh. Yeah, we love Church Minchel. Almost as much as we loved Upper Mill. Oh yeah, I didn't like that one. Oh, look at these cottages, lovely. So there's not much in Church Minchel, apart from the church itself and the Badger Inn. And here's the Badger Inn. How lovely is this? 500 metres from the canal. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Friday. Yeah. What's your charges for a haircut? You could do this full time. I could. Living on a boat. I'd need to go on a barbering course. Good. All done? Yep. Does it look alright? Anthony's pulling her face. Right, gonna jump in the shower, get ready for my show. <sighs> right, wow, well this is where I'm working today. It's for Seven Construction, it's a big family fun day. Or everyone's gonna have a go at sailing on the mirror behind. It's a beautiful setting, lots going on. They've got entertainment, DJs, face painters, everything going on. And I'm here to do magic shows. Looking forward to this one. The weather's definitely changed, look at this. <laughs> Autumn jacket is on. Oh, is it a spring jacket? Anyway, Dexter and myself are walking back to Bridge 12 uh, because uh, Anthony's been shopping. He's been to get his tyre repaired. He had a nail in the back tyre. And uh, his other tyres uh, probably needed replacing. His front tyres, so he's had those done as well. Expensive morning. Uh, we're going to walk up, Dexter and myself, and meet him and bring the bags down because it's about a six, seven minute walk from the road. It's actually a lot further, uh, but he's gonna drop the shopping off by the bridge. <laughs> right there, Dexter. Tell a lie, it wasn't bridge 12, it was bridge 14, I should have known that. We're more dear the other day. Here's Anthony. Dexter's not spotted him yet. Got our two bags of shopping. And how dangerous is that road, Anthony? Yeah, very. Yeah, so just a word of caution, if you do park near Bridge 14, be very careful, it's 60 miles an hour on that road. And you take your life into your own hands, don't you? Just for a bit of shopping and getting to work. Well, we needed rain and boy, we're certainly getting that. Let's do this. Well, the weather may have been pants, but we were really pleasantly surprised when who turned up to see us but our friends Colin and Debbie and Justine and John Diamond. Look at that, what a beautiful misty morning. I'd rather be in bed, but if I'm up anyway, that's lovely, isn't it? Ah, well, what am I up to today? It's Friday. This morning I got up to get a wash, Anthony's gone to work because he normally does on a Friday and the motor kept running, the water pump, so we knew that we were very low, almost empty on water. So I've turned the water pump off and I went from bridge 13 at Church Minchel, past bridge 16 to the winding hole, turned around. Some guy said, very impressive. I thought he was talking about the boat and realised he meant the winding, so I'm quite sure for that comment. Um, and our friends Colin and Debbie are moored up behind us on their big staff boat called Woody. Lovely couple, not seeing them since about May, so it's so nice to catch up. We had such a laugh last night and, um, yeah, just talking about our adventures out on the canal this year. I decided to go to water at Venetian Marina and I'm hoping that I can turn the boat around there and come back to where our friends Colin and Debbie are. 
so that we've got enough water to last a couple of weeks. And how lovely is this? Our friend Colin said, I'll jump on the boat and I'll come with you so you can um, so we can do the lock for us, which is really good of him. <laughs> it's a gorgeous day. Blue skies, white fluffy clouds in front of it that we don't look great behind. And a very strong aroma of farmyard manure. Oh, because they've been spreading muck on the fields. Well, the next day it was time to say goodbye to our patrons and good friends John and Justine, and also goodbye to Church Minchel. Oh, well, it's Tuesday morning, yesterday. We had dinner in Chester with Justine and John Diamond. So lovely to meet them. We had such a nice time chatting, chatting about boats mostly. And we're leaving Church Minchel today. I feel quite sad. We've been here for nearly two weeks, haven't we? Yeah. Dex has enjoyed it, haven't you, lad? Really going to miss that view from the galley window. Just love it here. Oh, got the out. And, uh, oh, we're just about, no, just about set off. Our friends Colin and Debbie are traveling with us today, which is lovely. We love Colin and Debbie. And just behind them is John and Justine's hire boat. So just behind Colin and Debbie's boat is 48 hours mooring, but this side, up to two weeks. Right, I found this sneaky parking space, a little lay-by, just off Colpit Lane. So if I walk in this direction, down to the bottom and turn to right is the first lock. And I'm going to turn left and head towards Anthony on the boat and Colin and Debbie coming towards me. Could be a couple of hours, I think. Right, so I've stepped onto the canal path just by Bridge 26 and it was only about a five minute walk from the car. So actually, this would be quite a nice place to moor. There's even more in rings behind me. So I've just phoned Debbie. Can't get hold of Anthony. He's probably left his phone in the boat and he's up at the tiller. They're travelling towards me and they're by Bridge 22. They reckon about 15 minutes away. I think it might be a bit longer than that. But yeah, it's a gorgeous day. Definitely feels autumnal. It's a bit of a nip in the air. I smell of manure in the fields. Just come across these linear moorings. How nice are these? All right, and here comes Anthony. Perfect timing. Have you enjoyed being at the tiller today, Anthony? I always enjoy being at the tiller. Yeah. It's been gorgeous weather, isn't it? Yeah. It's the middle of September. Watch your back there. Well, I just stood up to look outside, wonder what the noise was. <laughs> this one frightened the life out of me. Right, well I'm travelling on my own today, going into the big lock. Colin and Debbie. Got rubbish to get rid of. May fill with water, even though we only filled yesterday. Because I believe Anderton Services is closed. Well, I've just pulled up, or moored up I should say, just after the big lock, filling with water. It should only take about 10 minutes because we did fill up yesterday, but we're not sure when we'll be able to get water again. I've let Dex off to stretch his legs. Colin and Debbie, they've travelled on towards Bramble Cuttings, so I'll probably pass them later. <sighs> nice early start for us. There you go, we're full already, that only took five minutes, didn't it, Dexter? Obviously can't steer and film at the same time. Wow, well done, Colin and Debbie. They managed to get a spot at Bramble Cuttings. They've never managed it before. Very jealous that we can't stop here. There's no parking for Anthony. 
Well, I've got some work to do today, but I thought it'd be nice to pull up and have a coffee with Colin and Debbie. And at least we could say we stopped at Bramble Cuttings once. Oh, it's too nice not to. Oh, look at this for a lovely spot. We definitely need to come back here when we've got a few days off work. It was so nice to spend a bit more time with Colin and Debbie. Look at these two pushing us off. I mean, what a stay, are you? <laughs> stay, let Anthony sleep in the car. <laughs> See ya, bye. 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 seen a kingfisher skimming the canal right in front of the boat but carried on all the way down the canal so that's nice to see you can't beat that iridescent blue it's got me thinking now about colors for the boat well we've moored up just by oakwood marina and cafe but yeah we'll have to avoid the cafe <laughs> we're trying to be good i think dexter's glad that we've moored up it's now yeah, 12.44, took a little bit longer than we thought to get here, but actually, yeah, it's a nice cruise. Saw the Kingfisher three times, and the sun's coming out. Right, to crack on with some editing and some artwork. Wow, well look at this, what a difference. The sun's out, it's quite warm, I've got the washing hanging up. Right, well, I wasn't going to light the fire, but it's gone really cold and it's only six o'clock. I believe Heidi's lit her fire and she's quite tough. So if Heidi can light a fire, I think we can as well. <laughs> Need to find the kindling. I think we've still got coal. And now we've got logs. Ah, right, it's that time of year, isn't it? It's crazy. It's supposed to be warm till the weekend, but we're on Wednesday and it's already chilly. I think Dexter will enjoy the fire anyway. Oh well, it had to be done. Ah, oh, but look who's going past. <laughs> JC Diamond and John Diamond. Ah, oh, they've been supporting our channel for over two years. So a big thank you to them. It's been lovely meeting them at last. Safe trip. <laughs> And we're reversing the cut again, aren't we? Maybe yes. Yeah. It's the perfect time to cruise, I think. Yeah. And so we're hoping to wind here and then go up to Bramble Cuttings if there's space. If not, we do have an alternative plan, don't we? Yeah. A bit further on. This is Oakwood Marina and Tea Rooms, and they also have a campsite and teepees. Look at that, fabulous. And space for camper vans. Oh, yeah, and space for camper vans. And they've got day hire as well. They've got everything here, haven't they? Yeah, it's a nice marina. Met a few people on here, very friendly. Yeah, we were. Dex, what are you doing? He doesn't normally dig, does he? No. I'm sure I've just stood it. Oh. <laughs> It's Coco and Yogi. Yogi. Perfect Yogi, yeah. Oh, this is Sheila on the lovely boat, Perfect Harmony. And when did you launch? Was it December? December 2020. 2020. Yeah, just after us, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. We came to see your launch, actually. You did? We did, yeah. yeah. That was yeah. 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 Enjoying being out on the coast? Absolutely. Good. Best decision we ever did. Yeah. Absolutely. It was so nice to bump into these guys yesterday. Bramble Cuttings, there's only usually three boats. 
what's the chances of Gary and Sheila being here? But we had a really nice night. I've got a bit of a headache this morning after all the wine we consumed. <laughs> it's really lovely, thank you. Oh, I don't think Dexter wants to leave this spot. He likes it here. We can come back, can't we, Dexter? Yeah. Hey, come back again another time. We had a lovely night, didn't we, at Bramble Cuttings? We did. I, as we came around the corner, I said to Paul, I'm sure that's big stuff, though. And then I said, I think it might be Gary and Sheila. Yeah, you and can't you, mistake the colour, no. can you? And you were like, no, at first, weren't you? Yeah. And um, I was like, no, 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 they're definitely this way. As we came around the corner, it was. Yeah. So we had the food, they had the wine, luckily, we were, we were down to our half bottle, weren't we? Yeah. This, so, is, this is no reflection on <laughs> Gary and Sheila, but we thought we were going to come here and it was so peaceful and quiet. And we just laughed and talked all night, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, so. it's a really nice catch up. We've not seen him for a while. Yeah. See my little Robin. Oh, yeah. A few glasses of wine they consumed, yeah, but it was so few. nice catching up with them because we've only ever chatted for like 10, 15 minutes to them in the past, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. It was nice spending yeah, the evening and lovely. find out about their travels because they've had some real adventures this year yeah. because of some of the closures. But yeah, we're going to. We had a good night's sleep this morning. There were acorns dropping on the boat in the early hours. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, just. Just think about that if you're more in here in autumn. I think you're fine up there, right? We've just got like the middle bit right under the acorn tree. Yeah, but we are going to go towards Middlewich, Middlewich. turn around. We're hoping we can find a winding hole before we have to go through the big block. Yeah, and then um, you're going to get the car out here because you're working later. Yeah, I'm working later today, so we need to turn around and head back to our mooring spot by the car. Oh no, we're not doing that, are we? Yeah. We're mourning that little sneaky spot and you're going to cycle back. Oh, yeah. Am I? That's what you told me next to it. All right. <laughs> well, we better set off then. Come on. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. Please don't forget to subscribe. It really does help our channel. It's completely free. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please keep your comments coming we do love to get all of your comments we're hoping that we can do a live very soon i know we tried one a week ago but the internet was absolutely hopeless and yeah it was a shame because i'd done a live with lisa and maxine in the week and all that was fine and we sat down to do the live 30 seconds in and that was it, signal lost. It was so frustrating. But thank you to all those people that did tune in to watch and all those people that sat around and waited and chatted amongst themselves. And I believe there's some really lovely comments. Uh, we yet to see those, I think we'll have to find those. Um, anyway, I hope all that makes sense. I hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll see you next week when we start our journey on the Langochlan Canal. I said it right, bye for now. <laughs>